Good afternoon. This is the day I've been waiting for. This is the Oscar picking uh, video special. I'm going to do this in three parts. Uh, eight in each category. The last segment will be on the eight awards everyone cares about. The middle segment will be on the eight awards that are very important but don't necessarily put asses in seats. And the eight that we're going to do right now are the eight that could easily be picked into another category and dumped into another show later if the Oscars ever have the balls to actually cut down their service time. So like and subscribe and hate and comment later. So the first award I'm going to go over is Best Film Editing. On that one you've got The Black Klansman, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Green Book, and Vice. Now uh, when you're picking that category, uh, and a lot of these I always say if you don't know what to do, go to what the Brits say. The Brits chose The Vice. Um, and uh, this is probably where The Vice would get a W. Uh, so I would put the Vice on this one. For best visual effects, you've got Avengers Infinity War, Christopher Robin, First Man, Ready Player One, and Solo, a Star Wars film. I know what you're thinking, how could Solo get nominated? I thought they were eliminated from getting any Oscar contention. They were, but they wanted an appeal on this one. And if you're looking for the Brits for help, not going to happen. Black Panther, which is not nominated, won for the BAFTAs. Uh, so with that said, I think it's a three uh, picture race between Ready Player One, Solo, which has a lot of British and, uh, 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 people behind it and was not nominated for BAFTA, and Avengers Infinity War. With that being said, I think the MCU will finally get an Oscar, and it'll be for Avengers Infinity War. Best Costume Design. Uh, you got The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, Black Panther, The Favorite, Mary Poppins Returns, and Mary Queen of Scott. Now you have three uh, Brits in this one, and Sandy Powell did win the uh, BAFTA uh, for uh, the favorite, but unfortunately she will lose. Now she is also nominated for Mary Poppins Returns because she will win for the favorite. Now for best makeup and hairstyle, uh, it's only three nominees in this category. Border, Mary Queen of Scots, and Vice, the Brits, if you care to know, they pick the favorite, which is obviously not picked here. So this basically becomes a two-person, uh, two-picture race between Mary Queen of Scots and Vice. And, uh, you know, the Brits are going to go for Mary Queen of Scott. Um, and because of that, I'm going to pick Mary Queen of Scott. Best Cinematography. This one got kicked to the children's cable, and I don't quite know why. Uh, Star is Born, Roma, Never Look Away, The Favorite, and Cold War. Cold War is a foreign film, foreign language film, as is Roma. Uh, but Alfonso Corano will get his first Oscar of the night with that award. Now for the awards that definitely shouldn't necessarily be awards. We're going to go with Animated Short Subject. This is the award that Kobe Bryant won last year. It's between Animal Behavior, uh, Canadian duo of Allison Snowden and David Fine. They won the Oscar 25 years ago in the same category. Boa, which is a uh, Chinese uh, empty nest uh, picture uh, with a uh, Canadian uh, distributor. Late Afternoon, which is about a, uh, uh, an Irish uh, uh, produced film about dementia. One Small Step, which is about a Chinese uh, astronaut, or Chinese person who become an astronaut. And Weekends, which is uh, Canadian work by uh, Trevor Jimenez over at Pixar about uh, divorce and kids splitting time uh, between the parents. Um, Weekends would be a tough call uh, because of its dark subject. Um, it's, but I think it will win. They don't usually double reward that category, um, so I'm going to go with Weekends. Best live in an action short, which should not be a category as far as I'm concerned. Um, you've got Detainment, uh, which is an Irish uh, uh, film about the murder of James Bulger, which is a real life thing. Uh, Favreau or Favre, or I don't know how to pronounce it, it's Canadian French language pick about uh, two kids playing in an open pit mine. Marguerite, which is a uh, another French-Canadian film about a woman who uh, was old who finds out her nurse is a lesbian. Mother, which is a Spanish film uh, that's already won the uh, Goya, um, which is their equivalent of the Oscars in Spain. And Skin, which is a film that later got adapted into a full picture um, film. Um, that uh, premiered last year 
from uh, DirecTV Cinema and A24. This is basically a two-person per race, uh, two-picture race, between Marguerite and uh, Detainment. I would put Marguerite up there because of the lesbian angle. The Oscars do love to have a G LBGC and a uh, old age uh, contingent. And Detainment is uh, sort of British, it's Irish. There's a little bit of a scandal because the uh, because it's based off a of live action and the kids that are portrayed in it, uh, the parents say that they didn't get their consent. But uh, because of that, I'm going to give it to Detainment. Because again, I always go with the Brits. And uh, best documentary short subject, um, Black Sheep which is a British film about black teens in London going through racism. Endgame, which is about a hospital um, in San Francisco, a life and death. Lifeboat, which I have no idea because there's not even a description on Wikipedia from it. A Night at the Garden, which is about the uh, racist Klan rally in 1939. And period, end of sentence, which is uh, a documentary on the uh, quiet sexual revolution in India. On this one, you uh, tend to go with what the Brits say, and uh, um, the Brits do not have a uh, documentary short subject. So then you go, who is British in there? And you got really nobody. So you kind of go, well, what is more pivotal, right? And uh, I don't know anything about Lifeboat, okay? So I'm going to say this is a battle between Endgame um, and because it's death. A Night at the Garden, which is historical racism, and a period piece, which is the Me Too movement. Now, this happened last year, but in India. Now, this happened last year. I think that that would have won. Um, and while I do think, you know, Black Sheep is British, I don't think it gets that British vote. I'm going to go on a limb here and say A Night at the Garden. Um, again, it's about racism. And uh, Hollywood being Hollywood, they may want to uh, reward a film that talks about racism in the past. Um, so that is my picks for the, I'd say the bottom eight. I'll do the mid eight here in a little while. Like and subscribe and hit and comment below.